Hello Cancerians and thank you for joining me for the April of 2019 video readings. This is Vicki Rooley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. This reading is for Cancer's Sun, Rising and Moon. As always, the main reading will be done with the Rock and Roll Tarot deck. And then we're going to follow up with a card from the Beast, Mistress, Animal, Oracle cards. Uh, if you're a Patreon Level 2 subscriber, there will be an additional card pulled from the Sacred Path cards by Jamie Sands. Really awesome deck from back in the day. Okay. Let's get to shuffling. Oh, something else was trying to come through and I can't quite get it. Get to shuffling or get to something. Get to stepping. <laughs> get to stepping means like getting. I'm getting out of here. I'm get to stepping. Getting out of here. Uh, let's see what's going on for our Cancer friends in April. April 2019 for our Cancerian peeps. Peeps, what's happening for the peeps? Beep, 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 yeah. What is that? Baby, you can drive my car. Wah, 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 wah. I'm sorry for, don't, if it's singing bothers you, that's just how my spirit guides uh, communicate with me. And very often it has meaning in the lyrics or it has a message for somebody. So that's just part of my jam. It's how I roll. I just heard that's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, and that's how the cookie crumbles, man. <laughs> and I, they, they bring through messages that are really out of character for things that I would never say. Like, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> okay, so here is the reading for Cancers for... You know, I want to say April, I almost said August. So, the fact that I just almost said August could mean that there is some tie-ins to August for some of you out there. Either that's when something started, that last August, or that might be when something comes to culmination or fruition this coming August. You got a nice reading here, though. Whatever you've been waiting for, it's kind of coming out. You got this card and these, which are sort of similar. They're both being released. They're both kind of getting back. This card is like you just needed a rest, or you've been waiting a long time. Not necessarily that anything was like restricting you or anything. And this is like you felt really restricted and felt like you couldn't move, and now you can move again. But both of these cards are being able to move again, getting back into action, moving forward. You have the Chariot at the very top of this reading, and the Chariot is the highest success card in the entire deck. It just means um, you're on a roll. I'm going to put that as your headline. You're on a roll. Uh, and let that let me finish writing this. You're on a roll. See, stuff starts coming in from all directions, and I can't get it out all in time. Uh, that's the thing about this deck, too, um, is that if you see things like that, like the word roll or whatever, um, then let that, you know, let that come through. Let that pop out at you. That's a message just for you. That's what's cool about this deck, okay? But the Chariot is the highest success card in the entire deck, and with Ten of Cups right below it, I mean, that's just beautiful. Uh, Ten of Cups is the most happiness, the most love, the most joy that anyone could experience. The Ten is always the most. Um, some of you, we got Chariot and another Journey card here. Both can symbolize symbolic journeys, especially this one. This is about like leaving the past behind and moving forward. But I always look at what's it moving forward to. It's moving forward to this Ten of Cups. You're heading to the Ten of Cups. And through the Ten of Cups will come this bubbling up of the, the success and the, the um, chariot and everything. But they are both journey cards. So there's a good chance that some of you might be traveling. Some of you might be traveling to go to a wedding. Or if you're not traveling to go to a wedding, you might be traveling to um, see your love. Maybe some of you are in a long-distance relationship. Maybe you're going to be traveling and meet somebody while traveling. You know, uh, you might be traveling and fall in love, you know. Uh, what's that song I'm hearing? Do I Diddy. I, this one comes through a lot lately. It's been, this isn't the first time that this song came through. <laughs> Now we're together every single day, singing do I did, dum did it do, I'm her, uh, uh, e, uh, 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 wedding bells are gonna chime. Okay, so whatever. <laughs> 
But it's all orchestrated. It's all orchestrated. It's all heaven sent from above with this uh, temperance card there. It's like, these are your spirit guides and angels that put this whole deal together for you. Follow your bliss. Follow your joy. Go towards this. You want to go move towards the Ten of Cups to your happiest thing, to the most happiness and joy. That's where, that's where the, uh, that's where the fun is. Way out. <laughs> the way out from the Flintstones. Some of you are going to run into um, somebody from the past. Maybe some of you are going to go back home, like to some kind of a wedding or some kind of, or it's you know it's Easter and Passover and stuff this month. If you get family celebrations and whatnot. You know, you may uh, have some kind of thing like that show up. And you may travel back home and, fall, you know, fall, see your old sweetheart again or something like that. Or even if it's not the sweetheart, that sweet stood out to me. Love, sweet. But it could be um, your, um, it could be uh, an old friend. Just somebody, a childhood friend that you used to hang out with. And they're in town, too, for the holiday or whatever. So... It's like it's, it's a time of being really joyous and happy. Travel could be a big part of it. You're kind of coming out of a slump. These two cards are kind of like being in a slump. That's what this means too. Like you're ready to stop being a hermit. You're ready to get out of out of there again. Stop being the hermit crab. You know, because that's that's part of it. You can Syrians totally can be um, like the hermit crab. That's one of your totems or whatever. You know, that's part of your nature. Uh, but you're also, because you're moon child, you know, it changes. You're not always in that mode. But you're also very devoted to family. There's also could be some news coming about money uh, later on in the month. Also some kind of heaven sent sort of thing. Uh, that's, we are going to move into the sign of Taurus. So that that's an earth sign, because this represents earth sign time. And that could be uh, when we move into Taurus after the 20th. We move into the sign of Taurus. You know, this was really standing, when I looked at the temperance card, this green triangle was really standing out to me. And I'm not exactly sure what it would mean. Pyramid is what I would think of, but maybe it's some kind of green triangle thing. For, you know, other people it might have some kind of other meaning. Um, you know, was there a place in your hometown called the green triangle? Or a restaurant? Or a hangout spot? Or... You know, or green pyramid or jade. Jade. If, if, if I had to say anything else, I would say it might be jade. And then I also happen to notice that this guy's wearing green, and there's a lot of green on uh, on him. This page. I usually don't use um, these to be people. It's all the young dudes carry the news. They're the messengers. Uh, but it also, since there's this card here, it could be like reverting back to your childhood. Did you have a childhood friend who was an earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo? Um, is there some kind of pyramid thing? Are some of you going to go travel to the pyramids, you know? Is that part of the thing? You got to go to Egypt or, you know, to the South American Mexican uh, pyramids, you know? That could be a thing, too. But that, that was just a really random thing that sort of just popped out of there. All right, let's go ahead and move over to our animal totem card. But you have a nice reading here. Getting back into action, things really... Uh, you're on a roll. You are on a roll. Uh, and there's that let it roll, baby, roll all night long. But there's also a UFO song, something about roll. Oh, boy. I don't know. I, I'm not going to look it up. But if anybody knows, there's a UFO... Let it roll. There's a U by UFO. There's a song called Let It Roll. Maybe we will look it up if we have time, but let's get that animal totem card gotten out here. If I don't end up looking it up, maybe somebody wants to paste those lyrics in. Don't put a link, because if you put a link in the comments, YouTube will automatically mark it as spam, and I may or may not check the spam folder and see it and, you know, prove it. So, um, oh, sorry about that. This has to be turned off. I'm very sorry that that, um, came through. Okay, um, let me get your animal totem card. Uh, the fox. So fox is um, sly, sexy, charming shapeshifter, uh, elevated sense of smell, acute hearing, mediumship, camouflage, retreat, insulate, survive. Keep to yourself until you know who to trust. Well, I think that's kind of where you've been. 
I think that that keeping to yourself till you know who to trust thing, that's kind of like these cards here. Um, I feel like that's, you know, where you've been and that that's what you're kind of coming out of. You know, Fox, too, um, back in the day, it was definitely like if somebody was attractive, they were a fox, you know. A foxy lady by Jimi Hendrix. But I'm, I'm getting that this is picking up Fox on the Run. There was a whole bunch of songs. That was like a thing. Instead of saying, ooh, they're hot, you'd say, ooh, they're a fox. Oh, such a fox, you know. So that was a, 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 a indication of you finding somebody really attractive. And it's sexy, a sly thing, you know, that's right at the uh, very beginning there. So I, uh, I feel like that's, um, you know, that's a thing too, you know, um, that there could be some major attraction and that you really think somebody's a fox, you know. <laughs> okay, everybody, so thanks so much for tuning in. If you would like to get a reading from me, you can, or purchase my decks and all that stuff, it's all on my website, the... Uh, Equinox reading is a special reading, will only be available for maybe till the first week of April, but if you're watching this early, you might want to check that out, it's very insightful. And there's plenty of other stuff, and I appreciate all your support, liking, sharing, commenting. You can find my website above or below, and then there's also um, the subscribe button over there. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a Patreon, you can head over there, and we're going to get on that other card, the bonus card from Sacred Path. So thank you again. Okay, bye.